Alright, alright, back for round two! Ha! Ha! Beast Mankey Taco Burrito Mankey! We're going up against Pwn Up 25 once again, all day, every day, just kidding. But, um, yeah, we, we took this, um, little three stages of hell kind of match, like a WWE equivalent of Pokemon battles. So we did like three matches consecutively, and each battle we did different kind of themed teams. One, the first one you guys saw was NU, and this one's gonna be all blue! Oh my goodness, oh my damn, you guys are thinking, what the heck? I see the little king, you know where the blue at? Trust me, trust me, it's blue. Everything you see here is gonna be blue. Now, without saying anything else, nine likes will be appreciated. Thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoy my videos, hit that like button. Nine likes, number nine, will be very appreciated so that this channel, this video, and future videos will get the exposure so other people can find it easier. Like I said, like that crazy jungle bitch, but stop putting right now. That's pretty much it. Now, without further ado, without further ado, let's get on with this match right here. This is gonna be shorter than the other one because uh, there's no like coil setup or anything like that, no roost or anything like that. It's just a friendly, have fun, mono blue battle. Let's get it on. Now we're gonna see the blasters kicking off here. This is the one you got probably seen on the recent Battle Rank series episodes. I brought it in here just because I said so. And we're gonna see that Lieutenant Wobbuffet. That thing is gonna be massively powerful. When I mean by powerful, Specifically, it's gonna be a goddamn tank. You're gonna see how well it can take an Aqua Jet. <laughs> I don't know why I went for the Aqua Jet there for a second. No, actually, I do remember now. He goes for an Encore. I predicted him to go for a Miracle, predicting a Dark Pulse and something like that. But you know what? He goes for the Encore. And I was like, oh shit. He got me locked in on this son of a bitch. And um, I really did. It really didn't matter, I guess, in my opinion, how much I would. Uh, uh, what I would do in my turns, whether I was gonna switch out or just stay in and go for Aqua Jets. But uh, the main goal is to just try to just take it down little by like, little with Aqua Jets. Seeing that um, he's very defensive and I don't, he could he, he had the potential of living any sort of hit. And he would just, just counter back with the counter or Miracle depending on what type of Pokemon I was gonna bring out. So for right now it's gonna switch out now after going for a couple counters here. And I'm pretty much still locked in Aqua Jet, so I'm kind of glad he went. He he switched out a little later in the Encore process, but uh, he goes for the Little Mac. So now he's dry skin on the ability, absorbing all the water type attacks, and that means I'm kind of in a pickle right now. He's gonna get a free turn something, but gladly my Encore ended. And I went for the Ice. I mean that's what I'm talking about. Get for the Ice. He's trying to take as much damage as possible so that I can knock it out later because um, Toxicos tend to be a little bit dangerous. D -d dangerous, but you know what? So far, so good. I guess I'm gonna have to let uh, Mega Blastoise die. Seeing that um, he lost a lot of HP, and that pretty much not gonna be of any use unless I want to use it as Death Father. But it's more important to lo knock down as much HP on this Toxic Croak as possible. So I'm just gonna have to let die early in the match. I somewhat did. But you see that Blue Needle King? I told you, I told you, I told you. But you're gonna go into Red Eyes there, and I'm gonna go for Earth Power, just trying to just go for the safest move possible, and Sheer Force. Joy Scarfed, Stab, Earth Power. Guess how much that took. Look at that. Only like 10%. What the heck? Well, you know what? I'm going to have to switch out because I had nothing physically offensive for the Red Eyes other than uh, mostly Swallow. And I'm going to have to show, I'm going to have to explain how much I fucked up on that Swallow. But we're going to go and see it. It's going to switch out into the damn. The one of the damn Wobbuffets, it's, it's a really good move on his part, and at this rate, I'm gonna have to just try to do something very cheeky. So I went for the substitute, I was like, uh, I don't, I couldn't recall during the time whether the Aqua would go through the substitute, but then I, I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm not, I don't want to waste any time, and guess what, he goes with the Encore, and it does go through the substitute, and I was like, oh shit, but you know what? At the same time, I was, I knew, like, I'm still fine either way, because if he switches out, I'll definitely go just hit a go for the substitute on the second turn so if he wants to switch on the toxic croak or anything which is pretty much gonna just try to kill my flow just one hit ko but you know what i'm fine with it as long as they go for substitute second so i can just try to counter it and now what he's gonna do now since he, he, he realized he couldn't do anything to the wall with it unless uh he wanted to just encore me which he just did and uh, he's gonna have to go for toxic croak here because i don't think he has anything for it since i'm locked into substitute and he's just gonna stay there just a waddle around no hell no so he's, with the toxic croak he's gonna recover as much hp as possible which is a good good thing for him but, however, he underestimates the unpredictability of the Florges. Now, he's gonna try to just take me out 
go for the poison jab because there's, not, there's nothing better for him to do. It's in modern blue, blue team. There's no diversity as in some ways. In some way, there's not that much blue Pokemon compared to if you just want to use all whatever type of Pokemon you go. But good thing I'm going for the substitute two seconds. So I mean, unintentionally, I'm unintentionally like spamming substitute because I'm still encore into it, and it just ended. So he, he feels like he, he he feels pretty good. And uh, I was just waiting for the encore to end so I can whip him out with the surprise substitute phase with the surprise psychic. God damn it! Go for the surprise psychic and it's gonna knock him out. And he he had nothing. He didn't had no idea that's gonna be coming. So down goes the toxic stroke. And I could have gone in for a, for a lot sooner, but like I already said before, the substitute substitute encore. God damn it! But I'm so f I'm decently in a decent position. But I knew that. In order to knock out that red eyes, I need the swallow. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need the damn swallow. So I go for the moon blast, try to take as much damage as possible, so I can just knock it out with the swallow later. And um, it's so far so good, and he's gonna go for the play rough, and he misses, and that's somewhat crucial to a degree, cause I'm thinking he could have gone for the play rough aqua jet combo there, and he wasn't able to do so because he missed the play rough, and so that means I get another free moon blast. And that is okay with me trying to secure the damage thing so I can just switch on to Swallow after Floor Chase dies because Floor Chase is going to be that much of a use because of the damn Reg Eye. So I gotta find something to take care of that son of a bitch. And Floor Chase eliminating the damn Toxic Rogue, it's very important. It was very important that I did it and now I felt like I was going to be in a decent position. But I go with Swallow, try to take care of this damn Azumarill, oh, try to get the Toxic Corp and all that good stuff. But guess what? I go for that. Quick attack stab and guess what? How much? Well, look at that shit! And he goes for the superpower. So I went for the quick, quick attack stab protect because I predicted him to switch out to something that can take care of Swallow to a degree. And um, I thought quick quick attack stab <laughs> freaking for the sweet Swallow was gonna knock it out, but apparently that wasn't the case. And yeah, it really sucked. It really sucked. It pretty much sealed the deal for me here because. I have a special green ninja here. I have, I think, a uh, Needle King, which is special. And I think that was the only two Pokemon left remaining here in this whole entire match here. So I knock out the Azumaro, but at the same time, now that Swallow has fainted, which was my trump card for the Red Ice, it doesn't matter where I can just get the flinch on this wall buffet. It really doesn't matter now. I don't think I have any more physically offensive top Pokemon here at this rate, but because he knocked out my Swallow, that pretty much sealed my fate. And. I, I had no idea what to do at this point. So he's gonna keep on uh, going for the left. He got the leftovers going, and then I'm trying to get that freaking Dark Pulse flinches. And I did get the first one, I believe. So this is the second one. It goes for the miracle. It does not affect Green Ninja because he is a dark type. He is dark, not psychic. Damn it. He is not gonna be affected by that shit. So good thing I get to kill the free Wobble Fit. But at the same time, like I already said before, it does not really matter at this point because based on how much. How well the Rage Ice took the damn special offensive attacks from the damn uh, Needle King. It wasn't going to be that much of a use. But I go for the Dark Pulse here and try to get some flinches, I guess. I don't know what else I can do at this point. But I get the crit. doesn't really matter. He goes for the Surf. It is neutral because I'm only a Dark type. I go for the Surf here. And uh, I was going to take uh, probably a huge chunk of damage there. Goddamn. So at this rate, I was like, eh, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. But he switches out, I guess, trying to go. Save the Greninja for later as he goes into the Rage Ice. He's trying to be as safe as possible to try to secure the game because he feels like he got this in the back now, seeing as much damage. <laughs> like, like how well it eats up the damn special attacks from both Greninja and Needle King. And now I have to switch out, trying to, I guess, I don't know what else I was trying to do, man. I was trying to maybe, like, trying to figure out what I can do here. But I go into Tangrowth here, and he, as he goes for Thunderbolt, it's alright that, uh, I mean, I could have gone for this clean switch into Tangrowth, trying to get as much advantage as possible, but since he Take the Thunderbolt, it doesn't really matter, so I'm good with this uh tang growth here. So I'm gonna go for nothing, <laughs> nothing first. <laughs> but we're gonna go see it. he's gonna have to enjoy the ice beam as Chunky Funk the Tangro goes for the focus plow. I'm like, praying, God damn it, please get me a crit or some high roll damage. And that was pitiful, it's like 30%, like barely 30%. Like, god damn. So, I, I feel like I knew that was going to be the deal breaker there. I had knockoff as an offensive move on this tank group, but it's not stab, and I know it wasn't going to be that much helpful because it wasn't going to take as much of that focus blast because it was like times two. God damn. So, at this point, it's very late in the game now, and I have to go to Greninja because I have the Greninja and Needle King here at this point, and he can kill the rest of my team with the Rage Ice because I have low HP on the Greninja, and 
Little King drinks the ice, which is the sap of this damn son of a bitch. So goes the ice beam, and at this point, it's already been sealed. The one pivot point of this whole entire matchup was letting Swallow die, and me, I guess, <laughs> overestimating <laughs> the, the potential of Swallow. God damn, no wonder it's like NU. Holy shit. But I thought a stab quick attack would have killed, but. At, right now, in this match, right now, at this juncture ball junctures, I was trying, trying to go for Earth Power, trying to get some special defense drop, which is, I think, what it does, but I remember it just sheer force, sheer force, so there's no way I'm gonna get the special defense drop. So, he goes for the 1A KO on the Needle King. I was like, yeah, damn, that thing is powerful as fuck! But, like I said before, he had the game sealed once my Swallow was down because looking at my team, that was my main physically offensive man, and I guess that was for me to blame, but I was just. Putting all the blue team together, I was like not really just assembling all the balancing things, but I was like, I'll put all these cool like blue Pokemon here, but if you like this battle, so that's gonna be 1-1. One, one. And the third round, I'm planning on keeping that um, that battle until another person's channel in the name of Mobone CC uploads it so that I can upload it to you guys. So first it'll be Mobone, and then it'll be me. So 9 likes will be very precious for this channel, and if Freaking videos and the future videos that I'm gonna produce for you guys so that you can get the exposure so other people can find the crazy content out like a black clock. Oh my goodness, but Brianna, yeah. Seth, point of 25's link will be in the description. I think I got anything else to say, but absolutely everybody, clack, 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 clack.